and today's Sunday solution, we're going to do a little much needed reorganization. It's time for another Sunday solution. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so one of the projects I've wanted to tackle for a while now is moving this thing right here. Does anybody know what that is? Most people on the East Coast have no idea, and it's a pretty cool conversation starter wherever we go. But what that is, is a Thule fishing pole holder. So basically, there's a lock back here, and your door opens, and I got my little foam in there. You put your fishing poles in there, and it keeps them safe from uh, damage. So if you go out west, you'll see these on a lot of vehicles, but they use them for fly rods. So Thule makes one for fly rods, and they make one for spinning wheels. And the reason we purchased this, and I've had it for at least a year and a half now, up here on the Jeep. First year, I carried my fishing poles under the bay. I just stuck them under there. Well, one day, I went to close the slide out tray and didn't realize that it, it caught the tips of the rods and snapped them all off. Well, you only do that once if you got expensive gear, so. This thing isn't cheap. It's made really good. It's all aluminum up here, um, but, neither replace some fishing rods and I broke three of them that day so that was probably probably four hundred dollars worth of rods and then uh, you now this thing cost I remember when I bought it I'm gonna think it was around 400 bucks but I'll put a link in the description if anybody's interested in it so what we're gonna do with it is I don't like it up here on the Jeep uh, it's it's okay up here but we like to go off-roading sometimes and I always worry about it getting caught into trees or something like that so I'm gonna try to move it under the bay so the issue that I'm having one of the issues I'm gonna have there's a couple that I looked at is it's 99 inches long I believe let me get my notes good thing I wrote this down because I'm old yeah it's overall it's 99 inches long and I only have 98 inches inside the bay because of the doors, the thickness of the doors. But I got room to cut it down. So, you see the thickness on the doors here, that takes up a little bit of space. So what I'm gonna attempt to do, is I'm gonna attempt to put it on this slide, and I think I'm gonna put it right in this area, and then I'll bolt it to the slide, and I'm gonna shorten it. And the way I'm going to shorten it, hopefully, I won't know till I get it down, is that coupling right up there comes apart. When I, when I first bought it, it was apart. And I'm going to take a little bit off, a couple inches off this uh, tube right here, and then reattach it. And I've got plenty of room. My rods that I use are... Uh, the rod to the end of the reel is only 67 inches, and those tubes are 81 inches long inside, so to the uh, back of that box. Not the back of the box, but the front of the box, where the reels will hit. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get it down off of there, or get it positioned in here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And then I'll uh, cut it down if I can make it work. I really don't want to put it back up there. I've had that down. This is the second time I've moved it. I took it off because originally we had the kayak racks up there and I took them off, put them in storage with the kayaks. And uh, so hopefully I don't have to put it back up there. So one of the other issues too that I'm gonna encounter, and I think I can work it out, is all this stuff. This is everything we carry in that bay. So I'm gonna have to, uh, do some rearranging 
And uh, I also carry that Blackstone in there. So, and that table. So, we'll see if we can figure it out. truth did he measure right or did he cause a catastrophe he measured right good all right you ready to see the final result we go wait what well not every project goes as planned so the tooly mount is back on the Jeep so we did shorten it up though make it look a little better on there and hopefully it will stay out of the if Instructions. So now I got to put everything back in the bay. But that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes these things don't work out. We got it in there. I got it in there, looked at it, and it would just take up too much room. So I decided to leave it back up on the up on the roof. I have too much stuff with the clam and all the gear that I carry that I just don't want to give that stuff up. So. That's that. So, hope you enjoyed this Sunday solution, even though it didn't work out the way I thought it would. Uh, give a thumbs up. Give us a like, because uh, YouTube really likes that. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.